Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tip Tips and Tricks. I don't know what I'm going to call this video, and this might not help a lot of people, but if you ever get some clip art that looks like this, because whoever drew it drew it in batches of lines, and and it's I've been doing this same plaque for for years, and it worked. It works well. It engraves well. But these lines kind of always bug me. And even though it engraves, I think, perfectly, I would rather it be a solid black. So just today, I figured I had to do it, and I thought I'd share it with you. So everything's grouped together, so we need to go to a range and ungroup. I'm going to set my nudge distance on 5 inches. And I'm going to take all this black that I can because they're individual parts and I'm going to arrow key over five inches. I'm going to grab them all. Every little last piece that is black. I'm going to leave the rows alone. I don't need that piece. So all these are connected. So we've still got all these parts. Now, just for instance, I'm going to select them all. I'm going to nudge over another five inches just so I won't mess anything up. And I'm going to draw a box around the object. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and I'm going to fill in with yellow. And you need to fill in everything that's white. Okay, then you can take your box away five inches, and then you need to take your yellow parts over five inches, because these are going to be no field. So we've got all the all the parts. Now take your smart fill tool and fill this in now with black. Let's take the box away. Let's take all the yellow away. And all that did was keep it from filling in those spots. Now let's group all these together. So we can go to range and group or Control G, and then you can move it over 10 inches or 15 inches. Now it's the exact same thing, except now it's solid black and it's going to look better for your customer to look at. It's going to engrave better. So you can do the same thing, and I won't take the time to do it, but you can do the same thing with this lower part of the car just by moving them over anything that's connected well let's just do it real quick tell you what let's set our nudge factor on 10 inches now move that over 10 all i'm doing is hitting the left arrow key and i'm going to go ahead and this is connected to it this is connected to it that looks pretty good Draw a box, fill it in with yellow, and then fill in all these individual parts. Take our box away, take all our yellow away. You could probably just delete them, but I'm moving them over just in case you mess something up. Well, yeah, you, we needed to move them over. Now I'm going to take the black Smart Fill tool. And I'm going to turn this black. Now we're going it's, to... It's, it's already grouped together because it's a fill. That looks a lot better. 
anyway, i hope that helped you a little bit thank you for watching